Hi, good day everyone. How are you doing? My name is Cynthia. Happy weekend and happy new month. Happy Ember month. I know the Lord Almighty who had kept us from January to this time will continue to keep us. We've not been alive because we loved life. And we've not been living because of our carefulness. It's just by the sheer grace of God. You know, that takes me to what we want to talk about today. The vanity of this life. Recently, I lost a friend and I've not recovered till date. We were together on a Sunday. We played like never before. So on Monday, I went to work. On Tuesday, I came back from work. I saw her picture being posted on our women platform. Went to just check if it was birthday. Maybe I could give her a shout out. And that was how I saw that uh, they wrote there that uh, she was seriously down and that uh, we should pray for her. I was like, down? Somebody I was with on Sunday. What could be wrong? No, not even a sign of ordinary headache or even cough. So I called the number immediately. The children picked and said she was in the hospital. They told me the hospital. I rushed there. On getting there, she didn't recognize me again. They already put one kind pipe stuff in her nose. Her body was gone. Even if you put fire on her body, she wasn't shaking. She didn't even know who came and who did not come. So I stayed there. We prayed our life out. We kept going and I believed that she would actually get up. That it was just like a normal sickness. That maybe some tag did BP. Some, just like that, you know. On Tuesday, I was going to work. I, I didn't check because I was on duty. I had not gone on Monday and Tuesday. So at the park, I saw one of us that was also there with me. So I was asking that one whether they later changed that hospital. She said she died on Sunday. I left there around 9 p.m. on Sunday. They said it was, she died some minutes after I left on Sunday. Since that time, I had not found sleep. I had not found rest. I've just been thinking about the emptiness of this life. All these shadows we are busy chasing after. I'm nothing so meaningful in our life. Since that my friend left, I've just been thinking about the emptiness of this world. Why do we give so much to this life and this flesh, whereas it's not even permanent? Whereas we don't even know where and when we are living here. You know, we made our plans on that Sunday, we were together playing, but we never saw ourselves again in life. If only I knew it was going to be our last day on earth. If only the children knew that it was going to be their last day on earth with their mom. I know a lot of questions would have been asked and a lot of things would have been said. But who are we to question God? For some of us taking this world as if it's our own, carrying it on our head, doing a lot of evil things, indulging into a lot of atrocities. Have we ever had this thought that this world is but a place we are just like to spend some time and live? Most of those ones that died, they never planned to die. They never knew they would live because I talked a lot of things with that my friend that day. She even told me to like call some people, maybe some schools that she wanted to visit. So if she knew she was going to die, we wouldn't even talk about something like that. But today she's no more. And that is to show you that this world is absolutely nothing and empty. It pieces my heart to hear or to see a lot of people that are just hell-bent on finishing every other source on earth. People that believe that they came to this world on their own, that they brought themselves here and they will live when they want to live. And they will, if they don't want to live, they will live in this world forever. At times, I laugh. Do you know who I am? Do you know who you're talking to? Just because of a particular time, they feel they have actually arrived and they have everything that could make life sweet. They arrogate a lot of powers to themselves. God has said we should come, rule and dominate. So the living have to continue to live. You know, we have to do things that will make life a bit livable and have a little comfort here before we finally leave. But for the main time we spend here on earth, I am urging you to live it dignifiably. Live it godly. Leave it in the way that when you live here, people will remember you for who you are when you are here. Don't leave it in the way that people will be saying, ah, thank God you left. Ah, they will be celebrating and jubilating that one wicked soul had just been deleted. No, it shouldn't be like that. We will all live differently. The only thing we pray for is to live long. God promised us long life in the Bible. He said with long life, he will satisfy us. And that's just what we're praying for. Because it's never his wish for us to die young like this and see life that it took him time to create, to be wasted the way we're wasting it in this present world. Please, just try and hold God firm so that in every condition you will know that to live is Christ and to die 
is gain because you will know that living here on earth is going to gain a better place so when it will actually be a sad story is when you're not even sure of the life you lived on earth and when you die that will be all about you no please identify this god on a time reunite with him and give your life to him live solely for him so that whenever it happens at least you will gain eternity above please there is nothing in this world if you gain the whole world and lose your soul i don't know what will become of you over there because life actually here is not permanent so it's high time we started thinking of what make life more meaningful than this shadow we are chasing a lot of us are actually living in camouflage deceiving themselves thinking that they're deceiving people please remove yourself from every act of wickedness exude every act of atrocities keep your hands clean and live clean live for god live neat live decently and live orderly so that at that last day you will not say had i known give your life to god and live according to his tenets there is no one that will live right without the knowledge of god because uh, of course it is the world that giveth life and everything that you need to have that life and have it more abundantly are uh, all contained in the word of god so you can't do this all alone without knowing your god and without reading your bible without having the knowledge of god and fellowshipping with one another has been those in Christ. Whatever God doeth shall be forever. Whatever He giveth shall be forever. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That is Colossians 3 verse 7. Let everything you will do be in the way that will please God. Always ask yourself this step I will take. Does it please God? If it doesn't please God, why doing it? Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. Some of us have been doing a lot of things and we feel that God is silent. Psalm 50 verse 3 said that God shall come he's been keeping quiet and don't take his quietness for foolishness Galatians 5 16 walk in God's spirit every good and perfect gift comes from God so anything God gives is for happiness and it does not lead to sorrow please let your light so shine before men show kindness let your kindness so shine let your love so shine that people others will see the light of God in you and you draw men unto God